Story at 10 o'clock tonight is this. Many don't think a mass shooting will happen in their community, but until it does, in the aftermath of deadly Pittsburgh synagogue shooting on Saturday, KDK's Annalise Coble right now shares with us what churches or synagogues can do to protect their flock. This year's old tapestry that hangs in Congregation Beth El, a Tyler synagogue, translates to Tree of Life. The name of the synagogue in Pittsburgh that faced immense tragedy Saturday, a shooting that killed 11. Something Rabbi Neil Katz does not want to see happen in Tyler. We work with local law enforcement to uh, make sure that our building is safe in terms of um, uh, active shooter drills and make sure that we have security and we make sure that we have people here who uh, have license to carry. We asked how many churches are prepared for this kind of attack? Not enough. Um, most churches put this on the back burner um, because they keep thinking that it can't happen here and that God will protect us. But God says that he'll protect you if you do your part to protect yourself. The big question for many congregations is how? So first and foremost is raising their awareness. They have to understand that in the last 10 years, there's been an over 500% increase in violence in churches. And they haven't evolved with everybody else around them. If you look at schools and airports as an example, they have evolved in the security space. Maybe not as good as they should be, but they've evolved. And churches are still largely thought of and, and positioning themselves as a soft target. Everyone we spoke with agrees the best defense against active shooter situations is to be prepared. Annalise Coble. KETK News. Stratagos International now is offering a free two-day safety course for churches. For more information, please go to our website, easttexasmatters.com.